Learning objectives include consequences of viral infection. When a virus infects a host, there are few outcomes that we know that they are going to be there. One of them is that after the virus replicates, it just kills the, the cell and the cell gets lysed or killed. But most of the time, the cell is not killed because basically killing the cell is really not good for the virus as well because the virus, if it kills the cells, that means that the virus will be able to replicate in the cell because the cell is gone. So most of the viruses do not lyse the cell, do not kill the cell completely. Uh, those changes that are made as a viral replications, these are called as cytopathic effects. So basically when virus infects the cell, it causes some changes. Some, th some of those changes are microscopic in nature and some are macroscopic. That means that they could be seen with the naked eye. If you look at the tissue and if it has been infected with the, the virus, when you do the postmortem and see, some changes would be visible to the naked eyes. But some you could see or appreciate under the microscope only. But collectively, these are called cytopathic effects. So there are two basic major outcomes of viral infection. One is lysis of the cell or death of the cell, complete death. And the second is that the cell does not die, but it shows various effects, what we call cytopathic effects. Now, if you go further on these cytopathic effects, as I mentioned that if the virus is very virulent, means very pathogenic, it will lyse the cell, would kill and eliminate the cell. And the CPE could be shown or could be manifested in the form of latent infection. What is a latent infection? Latent infection, basically, the virus remains there. It does not replicate. It just stays there. And it waits until there is some immunosuppression or the right conditions are created where the virus can replicate. So in a latent infection, cell is infected, but the virus does not replicate. So here, as you can see, the, the virus is there in the cell, but is not replicating. So this is a called latent infection. Another CPE or form of CPE is persistent infection, where the virus replicates, but at a slow rate. So this cell does not get killed completely, but you can see that the virus particles are being released, although slowly. The rate of release is lower. Another form of CPE is transformation, where we see that the viruses are also a causative agent of tumors, cancers. So they change the cell into a form that the cells start replicating themselves and assumes a cancerous characteristic. This is just an overall summary of what we discussed, that this is the, 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 the host cell which has been infected with the virus. Either it is transformed into a tumor cell which would keep multiplying, replicating, and along when it replicates, it also replicates the virus. So this is one form of CPE. The cell does not get killed. Virus replicates, but also transform the cell into a tumor kind of a growth. Then there is a complete lysis of the cell, that the cell is eliminated. And then there's a persistent infection where virus particles are released, but at a slow rate. And then is the latent infection where virus remains inside the cell, but does not replicate. So in summary, virus consequences or consequences of viral infections basically are two. Either there is a death of the cell, or if there is no death, then it produces a cytopathic effect, which we call CPE.